Good morning, my Oche Kitchen family. What are you doing today to increase your income? Are we waiting and hoping that the economy will bounce back? We still don't know. But you can know how your economy will look like by the work you put in today. So that's why today is a business Wednesday. And we're going to learn some tips on how to start and run a successful business. My name is Uche Nani, and I'm a serial entrepreneur. So before we go on into the tips on how to run, start and run a successful business, I would like to tell you about who I am and what I do. I started my entrepreneurial journey in 20. 11. I had just had my child, my beautiful son, Ebube, in 2010, and I didn't want to go back to any paid employment. I wanted to create my own time for my son and find some sort of financial freedom. It has not been easy, but it is rewarding. So I always tell people that running a successful business is like birthing a child. You know all the whole process of giving birth to a child? That's what it takes to run a successful business. And I'll just give three points, three tips on what has made me come this far. In, in business and not giving up. I started that business in 2011, a hotel business with 12 rooms. Now we have grown that business, my team and I have grown that business to 36 rooms in three locations. I have also diversified my portfolio. Look at what happened with this corona. Imagine if I did not plan or execute my new business. Imagine what would have happened to me now. As a, like everybody know, the hotel business is, an, is not an essential service. We have just realized. So thank God I made the decision to expand my business portfolio. And I opened a supermarket business in, 20, in 2017, April. We're three years now. And to the glory of God, that business is also thriving and we're expanding and we'll be opening our second location in few weeks time. Has it been easy? No, it has not but I made a decision. I wanted to, I, 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 want, I know the kind of future I want for me and my family, for myself. I want to succeed in anything that I put my hands to do. So my Oche Kitchen family people, somebody needs to say enough is enough and wake up and do things differently in this time. Because I don't, I don't know what the economy will be, look like. But you all have all the power. You can determine that by yourself. By yourself. Enough said. I'll give you the first tip. Is your writing down your idea. Creating a template for your idea researching on your idea. Will this idea solve a problem? If the idea will solve a problem, how much of a problem, how many people will it solve this problem for? Because yes, we are all so passionate about something. But your passion might not be what you do immediately that will make profit that can sustain itself. 
Yes, my passion will, will be to give a lot. Have a foundation. Reach out to the less privileged. It's a great idea. It's a great thing to think about. But would that generate money to do that? No. So I have to create an idea that can make money and I will be able to fulfill some of these passions that I have. Is a business is a means. It's something you do that makes you money. So is that your idea bankable? Please write and articulate your idea. No idea is vague. No idea is too little. That's how I started with an idea. Articulate it. What's the, put the vision. What do you want to achieve? And when do you want to achieve that? Do your business plan. Research on the industry. Do whatever that needs to be done. But after all said and done, the second tip is execution. Now that we have talked about it, we have put it down in writing, we have a business plan or an idea on how to move forward. The next is to please execute your thoughts. Start. Like Nike would always say, just do it. Just do it. One of the things that have made me successful is that I don't think or dwell too much on my thought. I start it. And I learn along the way. Some people will say, oh, you burn your fingers, you do, yeah, what have you done with all the things you've been knowing? There's nothing like learning the ropes as you go along. Execute, execute, execute. Ideas do not make you rich. It's the correct execution that makes you rich. So what will it be today for you, my Oche Kitchen family? To see the 10,000 reasons why you can't do it? Or to ignore those demons and those fears that keep telling you things, making you believe that you can't do it? You can. Just find a way that you can. And that's by jumping, taking that leap. That's what I've done in all my businesses. There are so many reasons. You could say, oh, the economy is not right. This is even the best time. To find that business that will thrive in these times. Just like when I started my third hotel. Everyone thought I was crazy. Because Nigeria had just, there was some recession at that time, 2015. But I saw the future. And I invested, and it's still paying off till today. So what will it be? Execute, execute, execute. You don't win on emotions. Your emotions don't pay the bill. Is your executed ideas that will do it for you. And you can enjoy and bring all your dreams to realization. My third tip would be to remain persistent and consistent. Because when you persist, you will get it. But consistency will keep it for you. There are so many times in my business that I don't make profit. But has that deterred me from moving forward and grinding every day? No. I go to my businesses like it's a war. With a mindset that I would win. The mindset of a winner before I step out. Every day. You have to nurture it. That brings, you, that brings me to my best business slogan. 
What you nurture is what will grow. So my Oche Kitchen family, what are you nurturing? What are you nurturing? What you nurture will grow. So please be persistent. Even in the areas that you have failed. Go back. Retrace your steps. What have you done that you can do differently? What do you need to learn? You know, to avert those risks that almost crumbled you. And I bet you when you come back, you will do so much better. Be persistent and be consistent. Repeat, show up. Show up every day. My Oche Kitchen family. These tips and many more has made me and is still making me succeed in all my businesses. And you can do it. You can. You can. You can. You can do it. You can achieve it. You have heard this so much. All the time. You know them. Just do it. The Bible says, yes, I'll talk Bible. Because that's my foundation. It says that a good father leaves an inheritance for his children and his children's children. Right? What are you doing to leave a legacy that will pass on to your children and children's children? Yes, some people will say, listening to this video, I can't do business. I'm not cut out for business. It's true. Nobody was born and they just started business. No. Some people are lucky. They're in a family that, you know, they, you know, they have a family business and they learn the ropes. But everything you can learn, whatever you put your mind to do, you can. You can. This mind is a strong thing. It's a powerful thing. That you can achieve all that you wanted to achieve and more. So my Oche Kitchen family, I will leave you to ponder on this. What is willable? Your job or your business? Tell me next time when we see.